Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Cam Christo and this is Last Man 4 Black Ice Pacific Prosperity. In our last campaign we played as the United Kingdom and of course one of the major naval opponents we defeated was the Empire of Japan. This time we take up arms as the Empire of Japan and we're going to play from you know the other side as one of the bad guys. So we're going to Try and take over China, obviously, it's one of our objectives. We want to not necessarily fully own, but at least fully win the war in China. Um, we need to... Last time, right, we played as Britain. The navies we defeated were essentially the German, joke, the Italians, and the Japanese. This time, as the Japanese, we're going to have to defeat the British, the French, potentially, the United States navies. Much harder. Much bigger navies we're going to have to face. And potentially, we could face the UK and the US simultaneously. And the French, if the French hand over their fleet, which would be bad. <laughs> that would be very challenging. Um, we also, of course, have cripplingly low resources. And so we will be uh, striking south to try and seize all this lovely oil down here in the East Indies while kicking out those darn Western imperialists. Pay no attention to the massive project of imperialism we are ourselves embarking on with that in mind let's get this thing started so <clears throat> first thing i've got to do of course <laughs> close a couple of excess excel windows close close my photo editing software why the heck do i have so much stuff open don't save changes go away okay Right, so, Black Ice, it's been a little while since I played. Our focus tree, I've taken a brief look at. We can found a faction in 14 days. We get 25 political power, 5 stability, 5 war support. That seems like a pretty good <laughs> thing to do right out of the gate. We get 5 stability here as well. And 50 political power. We can get political power and political power gain advisor. I probably do want to get that pretty early. And then there's the Manchurian project. We can beef up Manchuria and start building some um, some factories over in Manchuria. Okay. Mandate of Heaven. Cool. We can uh, buff up Manchuria to become a kind of full-on puppet government. Reformed Mandate of China gets buffs. We can ascend the Chinese throne. Cool. Okay. All kinds of stuff we can do. Exactly. It's only imperialism. It's from the imperial region of Europe. This is just sparkling conquest. Thank you, Kim. That is uh, exactly correct. So we can't do these because we don't have the national spirit such and such in power, which I imagine will be an event we choose between later on. Um, I think I'm going to go... Yeah, I think I'm going to found our faction first. Give me that war support. Give me that base stability. Give me that tons of political power. And then we're going to go here and grab that political advisor. Obviously, in the fullness of time, we're going to try and declare war on China. We may do it a bit late. We may do it a bit early. I don't know. <clears throat> Looks like there's some kind of thing that triggers to get rid of this national spirit we have at the moment. Later in the year, which means I'm going to be able to start down this tree, I imagine. Cool. So, in factories-wise, um, right now we've got 43 sieve, 44 mill, 29 naval. So, to me, that says build civilian factories. Um, so let's do that. We haven't got very many slots to build them in. Do we build infrastructure first? I think we may. I mean, there's going to be more slots here. And also there is um, there's some chromium here. Let's build that there, that there, and then... That there, that there. Cool. Uh, Tech-wise, we are behind compared to where we were starting as the British. Um, most notably, in our army doctrine, we have very little artillery doctrine. This is World War One era artillery doctrine. We're missing a whole bunch of stuff about you know communication trenches and all that. So, do we have a doctrine? We don't have a doctrine slot. That's pretty bad. We should think about, can I rush that? Okay, there's industrial research here, which requires Nippon Steel. 
which requires all three of these. This requires those two. Okay, we're going to rush this to get the industry research slot. And then this one requires these, which require these. So we can't do... We can't do that yet. Can't get down here. But once we can, we will. <laughs> hey, Duke. Um, where else can I get research? Like, actually research. Here we go. Okay. Also under here, but not for a little while. Over here. Doesn't look like it. Didn't someone? There, there is a way to search for this, right? Yeah. Tagged research ones. That appears to be taking the ones I was looking at so far. Get some air assembly plants there. This is giving us not actually research slots. And there's another one here that we need. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm I'm looking forward to this campaign. I think this is gonna be good fun. I'm also gonna my camera is so my screen is large, so I'm gonna tip my camera down a bit so that when I'm peering down here at the bottom of the screen, I'm not so low in the uh, frame. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a bunch of slots down here. We're gonna have really good tech, I think. Be fun. Okay, so we can't rush tech right now except for this one. So we're going to do this focus, then we're going to rush this tech slot. That's the immediate plan. And I can get this as well, right? Need spiritual mobilization. Oh no, it needs work. It needs these two. Okay. But yeah, we're going to rush down here. This, by the way, very nice UI. Very well designed UI. Good work. Can't remember if that's mod or base game, but good work either way. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, we have this border clash situation. We might want to abandon the naval treaties. Yeah, why not? We're going to get war support, stability, make a bit of world tension. Who cares? We don't care about what the world thinks. we got big-ass carriers. Um, not doing anything there. Oh, yeah, we're going to start going through these because they give you loads of factories. Some of them. Okay. It's vanilla? Cool. Okay, so research-wise... I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I think we commit one of our all-purpose slots. Can I do this? I'm tempted to commit one of my all-purpose slots to full-time research on army doctrine until we get an army doctrine slot. But if we do that, like, there's none in here for a, oh, there it is, there's the naval slot. But the naval slot is, I mean, it's, it's some way away. Many of these are very fast. I think we do it. I think this slot right here is going to be used just on Doctrine. If we can get our Naval Doctrine, you know, up there, we're going to have a massive advantage versus China. Massive. Because they're not going to have, like, barely any of this. Now, what do we want first? Probably... Probably starting to go down... Yeah, so there's there's two options, right? To unlock some of these, and I think we'd probably go with, um, I don't know, probably superior firepower. We don't want to do anything that requires too much fuel, so I think we're likely to try and go with light, like horse-drawn light artillery. I think that's probably what we're going to try. And we can't get any of these until we've got a certain amount of tech. So, so yeah, let's work towards getting these techs. We machine gun infantry coordination, rolling barrage, stormtrooper assaults, aircraft artillery observers, telephone communications, and tank, inf tank RT coordination. So there's telephone communications. So we need both of these. We need this one, but not necessarily one of these two. This is recovery rate and defense. Recovery rate is pretty good. This is defense and soft attack and soft attack and soft attack on artillery. This is organization and HQs, reinforce rate up. Okay, very important. Uh, I don't think you need anti-tank. I do need this though, which gives tanks and artillery buffs. And then I need one of these, right? Yeah, I need Rolling Barrage. That was one of them, I believe. Uh, yeah, we need Rolling Barrage. So I think we start going towards Rolling Barrage first. Because the one we're furthest from, right? So 
makes sense to me. And we're going to have to start, we're going to have to spend army doctorate, uh, um, army experience to try and get these for sure. We need to spend army experience to try and try and get through these faster. Okay, apart from that, we don't have an industry research slot. So this one basically has to be on industry and we have no industry techs. Like, I'm not kidding. We have no industry and we have no uh, in engineering techs. Sorry, not none. Okay, we have a couple of these, but we have almost no industry techs. So step one, it's got to be the research speeds. Now, infantry and artillery. I'm telling you right now, forget heavy cannons. Forget heavy cannons. I'm not, I'm not getting tractors to drag around heavy artillery. It costs too much fuel. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Um, we don't need AA, not early on. So we need to get, we need to get some light artillery, pulled by horses, and we need to get it now. That's my impression. But is there something I should desperately invent in infantry? No, so infantry equipment. Look at this. We have got some pretty good stuff here. We might want mountain warfare. There are quite a lot of mountains in central China, central and northern China. So we might want to go that way. But. It's too dedicated for now. And then on this, we don't need any of this. I'd like radios, obviously. But yeah, give me that light artillery. Next. Uh, tanks. We have a tank research slot. Oh, we can also do planes. Good. I was going to say, I'm not so sure about tanks. <laughs> I don't think I have the fuel for tanks. I think we have, I think, so in the, um, in the British campaign, we didn't use any tanks. I'm not going to do that. We're going to have a very small, very small elite tank group, basically, but we're not going to put much work into it. It's basically, it's going to be a small little thing that's just designed for like little encirclements. We don't have the, the industrial capacity or the fuel in order to have a big tank division. So first off, get me some... Thing is, do I want light fighters? We need we need longer range fighters than this, right? Hmm. Light fighters have a range. Seven, five, five. But the thing is, the areas are so large around here. I mean, that's pretty good range. That's fine range, honestly. These are smaller air, wing, air zones than normal. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Give me, give me the light fighters. And we'll worry about getting in here later. Yeah, give me these. Cool. Now we got... Oh, we do have a naval, doc, naval slot. We have two. Why was I thinking we didn't have one? Foolish. Good. Ah, oh, they can also do air. Nice. Uh, so right now... We aren't inventing, we've just got steam, not diesel. I probably want diesel for subs. You really want diesel for subs, don't you? Oh, but submarine engines are separate. Okay, fine. So maybe we'll just use steam engines. Save some research time. Hmm. So also, things we've got invented already. These advanced, we've got advanced, this is significantly ahead of time. We've got advanced 19, uh, 145 to 160 millimeter batteries, which is great. I mean, these are secondaries for capital ships, but main batteries for cruisers. So, the thing is, I really don't want to have to invent like massive cannons, but anyway, I guess we're going to have to. What do I want in the short term here? We have a national spirit, sadly. This one. Dual purpose naval gun research minus 30%. Stagnant AA development. Um, which is going to hurt us. <clears throat> we already have medium, early medium and light naval AA. So that's fine. Um, what do I need? We've got interwar DDs. I could do with... Some small dual-purpose guns. How are we doing on these techs? Haven't got into war subs. We don't need. To. We're not gonna. Go, we're gonna go big ships. We're not gonna go comically large. I'm not gonna build like a Yamato-sized ship. 
We can do armored hangers. I think I'm going to invent the submarine and start building some subs early. I think we could do some serious damage to the British attempts to hold Malaya with subs. So let's start off there. And then we need to be able to fight off the... Um, we need to be able to fight off the um, British... Uh, sorry, the, the American submarines. Um, so I think we should probably get depth charge throwers going. And early sonar, honestly. I'm worried about the American submarines. Okay, that's tech handled. Um, right, resources-wise, we're massively short on steel. Holy heck. That seems wrong. You sure about that game? Let's unpause for a second here. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit slightly more reasonable, but still. Um, so we don't want to import from the US, obviously. I can't import from the Soviets because they hate me. I guess we'll import from Sweden. Although, actually, I do get slightly cheaper steel from America. So I guess we do actually trade with America. And for this, the Raj. Cool. Now, men. Excuse me. Men get assigned. We'll split out relevant types. Only 40 brigades. Divisions, eh? Alright, what are these? What are these different brigades we've got? We've got infantry with pack artillery. Mm hmm. Okay. Taking horse transports, large artillery, mountain artillery, cavalry equipment, few transport trucks. Okay, where are those transport trucks coming from? Logistics? No. From the maintenance department detachment. We probably do need a maintenance detachment, really. But I'm not sure we need mountain artillery. If you were to just be normal artillery, cost less, better, better on some stats, but obviously right now we're getting a bit of a buff in jungle and we'd lose it and presumably... Where's mountains? Hills, mountain. Three, each one I switch out is going three to six, like a 3% swing. It's pretty significant. There are a lot of mountains around in China. That is for sure. Wow. Ah, great point from chat. Thank you, I appreciate it. Port steel from Manchuko. They are, after all, my puppet. Beauty. I appreciate the call out, thank you. Right, let me just, sorry, my mic arm's a bit loose. There we go, tightened up. Um, that's a great point, thank you. Save me five factories. <laughs> that's a very significant. Um, what was I thinking about? Right, these guys. So we got some semi-motorized. Can I, can you not open two divisions at once? Silly. We get these, there might be other things that change these two divisions relative to each other, but let's just assume. So semi-motorized, oh sorry, that's, this looks fully motorized. No? Oh no, it's just semi-motorized, okay. Semi-motorized is very similar, but uses, you know, 24 times more fuel. Um, it's faster. Soft attack is 20% better. Hard attack is about the same. Defense is a bit higher. It's got some armor. Otherwise, though, pretty similar, to be honest. Uses 30% more supplies. More organization. I don't like it. I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I don't like it. I think I want non-motorized infantry. I can't afford to spend my fuel on motorizing infantry. That's... It's absurd. We only have one? Okay, I might allow one. But I don't think we're going to build any more of them. Then we've got these uh, orange chappies. What are you? 
You're a weird armored car tankette cavalry monstrosity. Okay. You, my friend, can immediately get deleted. I'm not going to use them for anything. You are my tanks. You're fine. You're a very normal, very normal looking tank division. So we'll keep you around. Um, but we're probably not going to build too many more of them in the short term. But I can build from this uh, from this baseline. And yeah, you do get priority reinforcement. Then, of course, we have our marines. To include artillery here strikes me as odd. Would have thought you'd rather have it here, but that does hurt the uh, the penalties for landing quite a lot. How much do we lose by not having it? 25% of our soft attack? But, I mean, uh, which is these amphibious? River amphibious. 60% attack versus... Ten, okay, so it's only a 10% of... 160, what's 10 of 160? I mean, 1 16th, but what's 1 16th? Like, like 7% or something? Yes, I mean, you're losing 25%. Um, soft attacks is not worth taking that out. But why pack artillery? You have, well, let's look at it here. Uh, remove it. Pack artillery on amphibious is minus 4. And artillery is minus 5.8. It's not much more. Lower breakthrough. Yeah, I think I'd rather have normal artillery, honestly. Right there. But anyway, we'll come to that. Okay, and then we've got these guys who are presumably garrisons. Yeah, militia. Militia are just worse infantry that are cheaper. Garrisons are the really slow ones. So here's our garrisons with some military police in them. We'll want to duplicate this. We'll probably want to... It'll probably be cheaper to build from... Hmm. No, it might still be cheaper to build from here. Just to add a couple of um, support attachments into our like our coastal garrison type division. Okay, cool. I feel like I have a good understanding of those now. Heavy trucks, operations, garrisons middle, and deployment low. Okay. Uh, no divisions and basic training, that's fine. No template for a bunch of stuff, that's fine. All right, we have, as it turns out, a cryptology department already, which is pretty cool, and an army and a navy department. Nice, nice. Um, I think we should straight away grab an operations department. Yes, please. And let's decrypt China's cipher. Okay, good. Next, uh, it's time to worry about our equipment. So first off, let me get the spreadsheet. <laughs> oh baby, 20 minutes in, he hits you with the spreadsheet. Um, where have I saved it? YouTube. Crap, where'd I save it? Count Christo. Games, Hoy, ongoing Hoy series. Damn it! Would I save my spreadsheet? We are going to use the spreadsheet, certainly from the beginning. We may see if we use it religiously all the way through, but you know I need it. Did I put it under? Where would I have saved it? Gusto. I'm gonna pause recording while I look for the spreadsheet. Right, 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 we found it. Uh, you know what I'll do, YouTube? Actually, I'm gonna put this into the second episode. <laughs> and I'll make this like episode 1.1, the spreadsheet or something. Um, this has been set up episode one of our Black Ice campaign. In the next episode, we will uh, unpause and have all of our factories set up and all that good stuff. Between now and the next one, I'm going to work on my spreadsheet exclusive Twitch content. But until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.